boys and girls, are y'all ready? We're going to do a little wiggling this morning. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee who's fluttering around the tree? Can you move with me? Thank you, boys and girls. Y'all did a wonderful job. The three little pigs. This is adapted from an English folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a mother pig and three little pigs. One day, the three little pigs decided to leave their home to go out and seek their fortune. The first little pig met a woman with some bundles of straw and said, please will you help me by giving me some straw to build my house? What, said the woman? I know I never saw a house made all of straw, but if only that will do, I'll give you this straw. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the little pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build the house of straw. Then the woman went on her way. When the little pig was all alone, the wolf came knocking at the door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The little pig squealed. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew the straw house in. And the first little pig ran away. The second little pig met a man with a cart of sticks and said, Please, will you help me get some sticks to build my house? What? The man said. A stick house isn't strong and it won't last very long. But if only that will do, I'll give these sticks to you. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the second little pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build the house of sticks. Then the man went on his way. When the little pig was all alone, the wolf came knocking at the door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig squealed. No, 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 not by a hair, my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. Oh. So the wolf huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed. And at last he blew the stick house in. And the second little pig ran away. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks and said, Please, will you help me get some bricks to build my house? Ah, the man said, you really are very clever. A brick house lasts forever. Since only that will do, I'll give these bricks to you. I'll help you build it too, little pig. Yes, yes, replied the third little pig, and I thank you. And the two worked together to build the house of bricks. Then the man went on his way. And when the little pig was all alone, the wolf came knocking at the door. Wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. And the little pig squealed, no, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, replied the wolf. <laughs> Let's see if he can do it. Well, the wolf huffed and he puffed. And he puffed, and he huffed, and he huffed, and he puffed again. But he couldn't blow that brick house in. So the wolf changed the subject and said, Little pig, I know where we can get a field full of fat, tasty carrots. Where? asked the little pig. 
at the farm next door. Be ready tomorrow morning and we'll go pull some carrots for lunch. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Then the wolf smacked his lips. Oh, thought the little pig, I know just what he'll do. Make little piggy stew. So early in the morning, I'll play this game my way. And the little pig said, okay, I'll go too. Yes, yes. And I thank you, replied the wolf. We'll leave at six sharp. Well, the little pig left at five o'clock instead and pulled the carrots and was way back home before six. Soon, the wolf came knocking at the door and said, little pig, are you ready? Ready, replied the little pig. I've gone and come back again. I already have a pot full of fat, tasty carrots simmering in my fireplace. The wolf was annoyed, and he knew there must be some way to trick the little pig. So the wolf said, Little pig, I know where we can find a tree full of big crispy apples. Where? said the little pig. In the orchard on the far side of town. Be ready tomorrow morning, we'll go pick some apples. I want apple jelly for my breakfast toast. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Then the wolf smacked his lips. Hmm. The little pig thought, I know what he wants most, piggy sausage with his toast. Once more, I'll use my trick, get there and be back real quick. And the little pig said, okay, I'll go. Yes, yes, we'll leave at five o'clock sharp. I thank you, replied the wolf. Well, the little pig left at four o'clock instead, hoping to get back home before the wolf came. But the archer was far away and the little pig had to climb a tree to pick the apples. Just as he was climbing back down, the wolf appeared. Well, Peg, I see you got here ahead of me. How are those apples? Very big and crispy, replied the little pig. Here's one for you. And the little pig tossed it way far from the tree. And when the wolf ran to get it, the little pig jumped down and he raced home. The next day, the wolf appeared again. This time, he was furious, but the stubborn wolf would not give up. He just knew there must be some way to trick that little pig. So the wolf smiled and said, little pig, I know where there's a wonderful fair going on. Where, said the little pig. Well, nearby in town. Be ready this afternoon and we'll go and get a slice of a very best pie at the fair. After all, it's no fun to eat alone. Hmm. I know just what he'll try, a little piggy pie, but he'll never dare to eat me at the fair. And the crafty little pig said, okay, I'll go. Yes, yes, replied the wolf, and I thank you. Three o'clock sharp, I'll be here. Well, the little pig left at two o'clock, got to the fair, and bought a big barrel. On the way home, the wolf appeared up the road just as the little pig had thought he would. And the little pig hid in the barrel, and soon it began to roll. The barrel rolled down the hill with the little pig squealing and oink, oink, and squealing, oh, oh, and screaming and scaring the wolf so badly that he ran straight home. But then, the next day, the wolf appeared again. He told the little pig how a strange wild machine had thundered down the hill and frightened everyone on his path. But the little pig just laughed and said, ha, that was me in the barrel that frightened you. And the wolf began to rant and rave and finally he screamed, then I'm gonna climb down your chimney. With one big bouncing leap, the wolf was on the rooftop. But the little pig had a pot of boiling water in the fireplace. And when the wolf jumped down the chimney, the little pig lifted the lid. In fell the wolf, who bolted straight back up and ran away, never to be seen again. And the whole little pig family lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks. Now we're gonna tell the story about the three Billy Goat Gruffs. Once upon a time, there were three Billy Goats named Gruff. One day, the three billy goat gruffs decided to go to the hillside to eat some green, green grass and make themselves very fat. 
But to get to the hillside, the three billy goats had to cross a bridge. And under that bridge, there lived an ugly old troll. He had mean black eyes and a big nose with hairy warts. Now, little Billy Goat Gruff was the first to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went his feet on the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. It's only I, little Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the hillside to eat green, green grass and make myself fat. I'm going to eat you up, shouted the troll. Oh no, please don't eat me. I'm too little, said the little Billy Goat Gruff. Wait for my brother, Big Billy Goat Gruff. He's much bigger than I am. Very well, answered the troll. Be off with you. So little Billy Goat Gruff trip-trapped across the bridge and went to eat the green, green grass. In a little while, along came Big Billy Goat Gruff. Trip-trap, trip-trap, trip-trap on the bridge. Who's that trip-trapping on my bridge, roared the troll. It's only I, Big Billy Goat Gruff. I'm going to the hillside to eat some green, green grass and make myself fat. I'm going to eat you up, said the troll. No, no, please don't eat me, said Big Billy Goat Gruff. Wait for my brother. Giant Big Billy Goat Gruff. He's much bigger than I am. Very well, be off with you, said the troll. So Big Billy Goat Gruff trip-trapped across the bridge and he went off to the hillside to eat some green, green grass. Just then, great big Billy Goat Gruff started across the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went his feet on the bridge. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge, roared the troll. It is I, great big Billy Goat Gruff, said the third Billy Goat, in a very loud voice indeed. Well, I'm going to eat you up, shouted the troll. Try it if you can, said the billy goat. The troll leaped up onto the bridge and the great big billy goat gruff butted him as hard as he could. The troll fell backwards into the water, scrambled up the bank, and he ran away, never to be seen again. The great big billy goat gruff tripped trapped across the bridge to join his brothers on the hillside. Now all day long, the three Billy Go Gruffs eat the green, green grass and grow fat. The end. Okay, boys and girls, uh, to go along with our story, the three little pigs, we're going to be decorating their house. In your packets that I've made for you, we have the three little pigs' houses, some straw, some sticks, and some bricks. So first off, we're gonna color a little bit of the house. Now, we're going to take our glue and we're going to put it on our paper. And the first house, we're going to put some straw. Smush it around a little bit. You probably have some long pieces. All you have to do is just break it and pile it on. There we go. Remember to keep the door uncovered so you can get in and out of your house. The next one is your sticks. And you should have enough sticks 
to get a good covering. And remember, before you move it, you gotta let it dry a little bit so it doesn't come off. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all other crafts. Okay. Make sure I'm spread out a little bit. Okay. And here's our brick house. Okay. Whoop. Miss Carol's gonna have all this all over the place. Did you know that I had a red brick house when I grew up? Still standing today because bricks will last forever. And here we go. I'm going to tear this little piece to go right here. And there we go. The three little pigs house. You have the straw house, the stick house, and the brick house. Hope y'all enjoy it.